Talks between top U.S. and Russian officials are being called positive by both sides, despite no clear sign of progress. The meetings were the first since the conflict in Ukraine started in the fall of 2013. CCTV's Julia Lobova has details. More than eight hours of discussions involving the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, and the two foreign ministers produced one solid agreement that it's good to talk. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's visit to Sochi failed to produce any major breakthroughs, but seems to have fulfilled its purpose to maintain direct lines of communication with senior Russian officials. I'm great to President Putin for the significant amount of time that he made available to this business uh, and for his very detailed explanations of Russia's position with respect to some of these challenges. Ukraine was one of the major topics at the talks, which Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, called wonderful. However, Moscow and Washington still have major differences over the Ukrainian conflict. Both diplomats agreed that the Minsk agreements are the best roadmap to peace in Ukraine. We agreed to use the influence of the USA and Russia on both sides of the conflict to ensure that the Minsk agreements are fully fulfilled. The talks come at a time when relations between Moscow and Washington have been deeply strained over the crisis in Ukraine and the West's sanctions in response. And while the meetings in Sochi may not lead to an immediate thaw, analysts say it is a positive step. It's pretty significant because uh, contacts between Russian and American high-level officials are rather rare nowadays. Uh, that shows that uh, both administrations are at least interested to keep some kind of communication. Kerry Lavrov and Putin also talked about the progress on Iran's nuclear program, the situation in Syria and the fight against the Islamic State. Following a day at the Black Sea Resort, it looks like Moscow and Washington could find some common ground on at least some global issues. Julia Libova, CCTV, Moscow.